Get her! Get her, Korst! Oh my goodness, that was brutal. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Full Imperial garb on. I think these boots kind of hide my knobby knees. All right, we need to get to the Falmore prison. And I'm here with Sienna and Falco. We're all in disguise, although I am actually technically a Thalmor, not a Thalmor, oh my goodness. An Imperial Legget. Alright, here's the prison down here. Alright, and we left Churchill. Back at Elgin, he suffered uh, some substantial injuries, and I think this is a good time for him to recuperate while we go on this mission. Did you get taller, Falco? Where's Sienna? All right, well, hopefully she'll meet us inside. Come on, let's go. Who are you, and what do you want? I'm here for a prisoner transfer to cell block 1138 in the embassy. Here are your orders. What? We'll see about this. I haven't been notified of any such orders. I'll have to clear this with my superior. Wait here. All right, Sienna. Nice of you to join us. Timing was impeccable. All right, just act natural, the both of you. My lord, there is an envoy here who appears to have orders for a prisoner transfer from Ellenwood herself. What should I do? Said Oliver. But I'll handle this. Come with me. All right, relax, everyone. I'm sorry. I haven't been given any orders concerning any transfer. I'm not able to release the prisoner at this time. I am an Imperial officer and a special envoy. Oh my goodness. Let me, let me start over, sir. I am an Imperial officer and a special envoy from the Embassy. Yes, I've heard of you. It seems you're known as a hero in this petty civil war of yours. That's why we don't kill you on sight. Well, enjoy your time in the sun, Legionnaire. Your time will come soon enough. The reign of men will soon be over. Oh, really? Are you threatening me? I will only warn you once. Of what? You suggest I comply? Yes, yes, I know. Very well, then. This place seems to be a revolving door of transfers anyway. Prisoners coming in, prisoners going back out, could make a lesser being crazy. And I'm sure Erendil will not be happy when he returns. But he will just have to take that up with Ellenwyn, won't he? Very well. Oronar will escort you to your prisoner. But you had better not tarry. Get your prisoner and leave. All right. Come on, let's go. Morinar is already leaving.
it's this way. <laughs> then, I'm going to put you on my rack over there for a nice little stretch. <laughs> Geno, stop that immediately and back away. This prisoner is being transferred to the embassy. Back away? I'm finally making some progress and he's just about to break. And you tell me to back away? Have you gone mad? I will do no such thing. Oh, yes, you will. And you will do it now. You can take up your grievance with Erendra. Now step aside. This is madness, I tell you. Madness! I was given specific orders to interrogate this prisoner, and that's exactly what I am doing. Damn it, Gaynor. We have orders from Ellenman to transfer this prisoner. Now back away, or you're going on report. Very well, then. But Ellendil will have your head, not mine. You may release your prisoner from his shackles and leave at once. I advise you to move quickly, as my friend can get a little testy. Yes, I'll be on my way then. Yes, I suggest you do that immediately. Oh my goodness, look how badly beaten this man is. Of course. Please get me down from here. With nothing like a brisk cool day in Skyrim, is there, friend? Thank you. There. Let me... Let me see if I can walk. So dizzy. Are you okay? What are you looking at, you Nord dog? I should have just killed you when I had the chance. General, I'm warning you. Stop! Is what? Someone what? This is supposed to be peaceful. Oh! No, I'm stuck! Anything valuable. Plenty of gold. I'm not taking all this armor. Alright, I've got the key to the prison. Is there another way to get out of here?
I thought this was supposed to go peacefully. Got every well no. I think there's two more. What does he got though? Nothing interesting. Alright, I think there's some more people up here somewhere. Get out of here. Oh, wait a minute, there's there might be loot before we go. Empty. Alright, well, so much for that. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry. I'm used to collecting relics and looting things. This is the door. <laughs> you two! What the hell are you doing here? By Talus, we are lucky to be alive! Valeria sent us to find you and bring you home. Did you think we would let you rot in here? I didn't know, Falco. I thought I might die in this stinking place. I don't believe I know this person with you. Who is this man who fights like a true warrior? A uh, traveler and a modest. new friend of Marcus Janus. Kind. Of course, you won't believe it. Marcus is in Skyrim. Marcus Janus in Skyrim? You must be drinking too much meat again, Farco. No, it's true. And he's back in Helgen with Valerius. Helgen? I bet Valerius never saw that one coming. 
Why is Marcus here? I'm not sure, but something about rebuilding Helgen, I think. Of course, we can talk about that later. We need to go. Yes. Let's get out of here before any more of those Dalmor maggots show up. Perhaps our new friend will lead the way. We will be right behind you. All right, very good. I think we do need to get out of here. We just can't stand around and celebrate in front of their doorway. Okay, let's go back to Helgen. What is it, friend? I brought along some friends to see you. Shores Bones, I see now why Marcus has spoken so highly of you. Quite impressive. Now, let's see if we can find out what in the name of Akatosh is going on in that prison. Forced, thank the gods you're safe. But how in oblivion were you even captured? I don't know how they found me. It's like they knew exactly where I was hiding. I never had a chance to escape. Well, thanks to our new friend, you are okay now. Tell me what you learned. It's a prison, all right, and it's heavily guarded inside. Well, it was heavily guarded. There are none alive in there now. The commandant was never there that I could tell. Did anyone mention where he was? I overheard the guards talking about him getting soft in their embassy and spending too much time with some whore from the Tormas Tavern. But that's all I could hear them say. Did you learn anything else? Well, I didn't think much of it at the time. But I overheard the guard talking about how many prisoners were coming and going from the prison. And I noticed several new prisoners had probably get taken away while I was there. Just like he said. They were not tortured, beaten or stopped either. I guess they saved all of that for me. But wait. Yes. One group had a family, a woman and a small child, but he was not old enough to fight. The guard was joking about raping the woman to see you again, and sending the child to bandage as a slave. Could that be true? They are selling slaves? Well now, that's certainly a lot to chew on. Excellent work, old friend. I'll check and see if any of my sources know about it. Thank you, Korst. We'll get something to eat and some sleep. I need you well rested. Dismissed. You've done me a great service, friend. You saved his life, and for that I will never be able to repay you. Is there anything else you can add? Well, no, I think that's all. Korst report was accurate. Did you hear anything about slaves? No, but the prison was huge, and Korst was the only prisoner. That is odd, isn't it? So it looks like the elves are up to no good. Where else to easily kidnap people than in Skyrim? All they have to say is that they're worshipping Talos. I'm sure many of these enforcers skulking about in Skyrim are under their command. I know you've had a long day, and I won't keep you. We'll let you know when we have anything new. But please, check in with Marcus as soon as you can. Thank you again, my friend. All right, thank you. All right, Churcha, I think you're back with me. What do you need? Follow me. Lead the way. <laughs> 